So hello, I'm uh, Dr. Kunduloze. I'm the head of the Department of Vascular Surgery in Azit Simplasius uh, Dendermonde in Belgium. And I would like to uh, talk to you about the 48 months results of our TAN TAN trial, a physician initiated uh, trial that we performed with the uh, luminor drug coated balloon and the eye evolution stent. The reasoning behind this trial is actually very clear. On one side, we are living with the leaving nothing behind uh, adagio. So, but I realized in uh, daily life, in my daily life, my daily practice, that leaving nothing behind remained a dream. And so that we need the more complex, the longer, the more calcified, the more occluded the vessel is, the more scaffolds we need. And I really wanted to study especially in very complex task C and D lesions, I wanted to study if the combination of an efficient drug coat balloon already proven in a lot of uh, studies and data, that the efficiency or the efficacy of a drug coat balloon combined with an efficient scaffold, that this is offering better results in this very complex task C and D lesions. On one side, we have the Luminor, the Luminor that all, already has proven its efficacy and safety in, for instance, the FPAC trial, a randomized controlled trial uh, with tremendous freedom from clinical driven TLRs, more than 90% at three and four years and a very high primary patency rates. Of course, in the FPAC randomized controlled trial, like in a lot of these ideal circumstances RCTs, uh, we noticed a lesion length around 6 cm. I don't see lesions of 6 cm in my daily practice. On the other hand, we have uh, also results with the evolution scaffold, the 19 old stent, but on the relatively short term, one year, two year follow up. But I wanted to be sure also, we, we noticed in a lot of uh, trials that when we are facing more complex lesions, that these uh, 19 all stands that they have a little bit the problem of um, durability. So after a couple of years, two years and more, you see the efficacy dropping tremendously. And so I wanted to see that if we are combining the efficacy on the longer term of the FPAC trial device, the Luminor, combining with a very good scaffold, what was proven on the shorter term in the evolution study, so combining these two, if this is also on the longer term, an efficient and safe way of treatment of complex FEMPOP lesions. So the study design is actually, or the TAN, TAN trial is actually a prospective, non-randomized, single arm, multi-center physician initiated uh, trial where we are investigating 100 patients in uh, complex task C and D femoropopleal lesions and testing this combination, as we discussed, luminor drug coat balloon and evolution stent. 100 patients, task C and D, and if we are looking at the patient characteristics and the lesion characteristics, you see that we are studying a real-life population. Mean lesion length in the cohort was uh, 24 centimeters. 60% uh, were CTOs. 28% of the patients were real CLTI patients with report 4, 5, and 6. So that's a real cohort of daily-based, daily practice vascular patients. And we studied the combination of both devices in this challenging population. So I had the honor to present at link 23. I had the honor to present the 48-month results, so four-year results in these uh, complex lesions, complex uh, uh, patient cohort. And so the first finding we had was actually that at 48 months, 36 patients out of our 100 enrollments died already. So it's a clear sign. It was reflected in the survival curve in the Kaplan-Meier analysis survival rate curve in a uh, survival rate of 61% after four years. So again, another signal how diseased this category of vascular patients is um, 61 survival rate. If we make the sub-analysis critical limb ischemia patients versus Claudicans, we notice that at four years, the survival rate was 72% in the Claudicans and 43% in the CLTI patients. So it means that more than half of our CLTI patients after 48 months 
are dead. On the other hand, I need to say that the combination of this uh, Luminor combined with the Evolution stand is really a good combination in these challenging lesions. We reached a freedom from clinical driven TLR at 48 months of 74.8%. If we are looking at the clinical assessment also there, I noticed that the shift we've made during the procedure from the 4, 5, 4 and 3 towards 2, 1 and 0, then this is still sustained up to 48 months. And the same findings were there as sustainable res results at 48 months uh, concerning the ABI measurements. So in general, very disease population, relatively bad survival rates expected according to the literature, but on the other hand, a very safe and efficient combination also on the longer term of this evolution and luminar drug coated. The take-home message, in fact, of the 1010 trial is very clear. First point, survival rates in very diseased vascular patients are bad. In our series, 61% after four years. Second take-home message, if you are facing very challenging, complex task C and D lesions, occlusions, heavily calcified lesions, then you need a scaffold on one side, but you also need to have durability, a drug eluting on the other side, right up to now, it is Paclitaxel. We don't have sufficient data with other drugs, and the Luminor is a perfect example for this. And then last but not least, if you are, let's say, um, comparing the findings in the 1010 trial with some other trials, and I know that it is just for educational reasons and not scientifically perfectly correct, but if you are comparing with other studies, benchmarking with other studies, like the Illuvia long lesion registry of Münster, like the uh, um, silver pass uh, results, both cohorts, like the, um, um, at the global results with the dreaded admiral, uh, drug code of blue of Medtronic long lesion super cohort. We notice that the combination of scaffolding and drug illusion is still a perfect winner in these difficult and complex lesions. Well, of course, uh, like I've mentioned in the beginning, we are speaking about a single arm study over here. So I would love to see a randomized study in the same complexity of lesions and patients, where randomized study on one side, drug coated balloon combined with a bare metal stand scaffold versus a drug eluting stand. Um, and I want to see which one is the safest, is the most efficient one, not only in the very short, easy, straightforward, randomized controlled trial lesions, but also in the real world lesions. Mm -hmm.